welcome back everybody to yet another amazing video. Can we focus on the actual point of the video for once without going off topic? Nonsense. Our beloved fan base has waited far too long and they deserve a lot more than a frivolous picture noise that's cut short due to production budget. In that case, I would like to take a moment to thank you all for the get better and get well soon messages. I've said this many times before and I'll say it again. How I adore when he gets all serious and starts talking with his chest out. We are extremely busy with production. We can't reply to every single comment, but that doesn't mean that we don't read them. We see you and we love you so much. You guys should have seen how cute he looked when he was sick and tucked in bed. Can we not talk about that right now? You're right. We have more important matters to attend to, like the official release of our Piscord server. First of all, it's Discord. And second of all, yes, it's here. You guys can scroll down to the description and join using the link. As you may or may not have noticed, this video didn't have a premiere. We simply posted it. The reason being the importance of these topics. And we would like to humbly request that you watch the entirety of this video without skipping. First and furthermost, we're going to be talking about how to navigate around the server, the rules you should definitely follow, and everything in between. Next, we're going to be answering a few questions you may have about the server, as well as providing you lovely champs with explanations as to why we've made certain decisions. So sit back, relax, grab some coffee, and enjoy the video. Or tea, we don't judge. And speaking of video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a nuke. So obviously we didn't want the server to look like every other one out there. So picture this. You've just perished and ended up in the fire e-pits of you know where. And the first thing you hear is us talking about our brand new Piscord server. However, it's located in Pentagram City, a breathtaking place full of wonders, gore, and chaos. Home sweet home, am I right? Anyway, you meet Alistair, a radio demon. Excuse you, my dear. Uh, that's the one and only radio demon for you and for everyone else as well. Whatever. So Alistair gives you an option to make a deal. You follow the rules and he lets you in Pentagram City. Of course, being the smart, loyal, and humble person you are, you read the contract and sign it with blood. And in you go. Pentagram City. Let's talk about that first. The first three text channels or as we like to call them, districts, aka the Central Cannibal and Mafia districts, are purely for you guys to chat, talk, and have a good time. I think this would be a good time to make note of the fact that we spent quite a bit of time and put a lot of elbow grease, as you might say, into making the server and coming up with all of these shenanigans. Not only does this show on the amazing design that we all took part in, but it also shows on the text channels themselves, where we all sent a message guiding you on what the specific channel is for and what you can and shouldn't do. And by we all, he means literally one person. Sorry, John, and welcome to hell. This would be a good time to mention that we prefer that you don't send any pictures, fan art, or anything of those sorts into those three districts. You'll find out why in a moment's notice. Next up is the Meme District. And believe it or not, you guys were the main inspiration for the creation of this text channel. All jokes aside, we get so many emails of memes you guys made for Has Been Hotspot that we just had to make a dedicated text channel for them. This one simply has to be my favorite out of them all. It really captures the illusions that the modern world is trying to bestow upon us, while at the same time capturing the reality and the truth. Did this motherfucker seriously just dedicate a whole poem to one meme? Speaking of dedicate, it would be greatly appreciated if you lovely fellows use these channels for memes and memes alone. Avoid talking and keep it clean and steady, please. So first you dedicate a whole poem to one meme, and now you mispronounce the word dedicate? What can I say? I am a man of many wonders. Lately I've been wondering if you're a man at all. You know what I've been wondering? Why aren't we moving on to the highlight district? Because first we have to talk about all the videos people cut, edit, and post on TikTok. Being famous does have its ups, doesn't it? I swear I can hear your ego sometimes. Anyhow, we do enjoy those videos, we watch them, and a lot of them we even comment on and like. And please keep posting, we enjoy it. And by the way, Unlike other creators, we are actually happy to see those clips gaining views and traction. However, one thing we do not enjoy seeing is other creators using our content and claiming it as their own. So please, if you are going to use our content, give us the proper credit. We see so many people asking who the original creator is, and we just can't keep up at this point. So next time you guys make an edit or a compilation of us, don't just share it on TikTok. Send it here as well, for us and other fans to see it. 
Finally, we have the Media District. You might have noticed that you are not allowed to type or communicate here. That's because this district is for us to communicate with you. News, updates, videos, and everything in between. And we also have special districts for fan art. And when we say special district, we mean it. There's a district for fan art that is meant to be for radio static. We also have an exclusive district meant for IRL art and all of those handy crafty things you send us. And you guys enjoyed the weird fan art video so much that we decided to make a dedicated district for those types of art. It is called the Sinister District. So from now on, if you have fan art that you want to send us, instead of just sending it on our email, send it in our server. However, we do request that you send wisely. After all, it did take us a lot of time to come up with those districts and organize everything into separate sections. Therefore, we humbly request that you respect those sections and send your art accordingly. Also, just like the meme district and the highlight district, avoid turning those text channels into group chats. We have dedicated channels for everything. And if you have any questions you want to ask us or any of the other guys, you can step over to the inquiry and ask away. I would like to note two things. The fact that the category that those four text channels are in is called offerings. That was my idea, by the way, and I'm quite proud of it. And the fact that inquiry is meant for questions only. So please avoid sending pictures, memes, fan art, or anything of those sorts. Are you mispronouncing words on purpose or something? I think it's time that we move on to the category of criticism. I would like to talk about persuasions and assessments. You really enjoy showing off your work and ideas, don't you? Remember, my good man, there is nothing wrong with being excited about showing off your work with pride. Alistair's ego aside, you guys finally have a place and an opportunity to both share your ideas and give us some feedback. Indeed. Presumptions is the text channel where you can share some video ideas you might have for us or you really would love to see. And you can also give us feedback. And you can share some feedback along with some constructive criticism with us. India Assessments text channel. Dude. What's up with you today? Am I not allowed to be excited? Please don't start. I don't have the mental capacity to deal with this right now. Then let us move on to the Seven Rings of Hell, also known as the Seven Voice Channels. These are voice channels where any one of you guys can join, talk, and discuss various topics. Only exception being the Sloth Ring, where you are allowed to connect but not allowed to speak or open your camera's eye. Tell them why while you're at it. It is because we want this ring to be dedicated to love fry music. He means lo-fi music, but yes. If you want to log on the server and enjoy some music in peace and silence, then the Sloth Ring is the place for you. Unfortunately, this is where the tour of the Piscord server ends, as the rest of the districts are strictly for overlords. So let's answer some questions about the server before we move on to the announcement. I'm sure every single one of you champs are wondering, why isn't the Piscord server public? It's not public because it was never supposed to be a server that anyone can join. It took us a lot of time to make it, and we don't want anyone to nuke it or destroy it. Destroy it. This server is supposed to be for you guys. It's supposed to be for us. People that enjoy has been Hotspot and has been Hotel. We don't intend nor expect the server to blow up and become huge. Think of it as a local deli. Exactly. Like a local mini market that an old couple opened up to make some extra money. Except that we won't be making any money with the Piscord server. Honestly, if anyone nukes or griefs or raids the server with bots and ends up destroying it, we probably won't make another one. Keep in mind, we have some moderators and we have some form of control on the server to make sure things don't go too out of hand. A good example of this would be spam. Please don't do that. We don't want to see any crypto scams and spam messaging our members either. In fact, that's one of the reasons why the server is going to be a private one, only accessible through our channel and our links. This would be a good time to mention that the server link is in the description down below, in case you haven't figured that part out yet. Keep in mind, by the way, you're entering hell, so don't expect people to be nice to you. In fact, we're expecting the complete opposite. Racists, Sexists, communists, everything. I find it quite annoying that nowadays you are not allowed to make those forms of jokes without getting kicked out of everywhere. So we've deliberately set up the server in a way that accepts all form of humor, no matter how dark. Now, this doesn't outright give you permission to insult people when they're not comfortable with it. Nor does this mean that you are allowed to send and say things that makes everyone in the server genuinely concerned for your mental well-being. Let me explain what this means instead. If you find people that you genuinely vibe with and you guys have a weird slash sexist slash racist sense of humor that doesn't directly insult anyone, then you're good to go. The whole point of the server is to have freedom of speech for everyone. So if you and your champs want to throw a couple of racial slurs at each other, be our guests. 
Just avoid insulting anyone else. And speaking of someone else, if you just so happen to be a person that is disturbed or in any way, shape, or form feels offended from all of the words being said in the server, grow up and get over yourself. We are literally in hell. And you're joining a server where the main chat is located in Pentagram City. I'm sorry, but sometimes you have to just accept your environment and the cons that come with the pros. Just be a grown-up about it. Someone said a racial slur? Someone is being racist? Someone said women can't vote? So what? Who cares? Like, seriously, who cares? Let him say whatever he wants. You do you, girl. Is anyone talking directly to you? Is anyone directly insulting you for absolutely no reason? Well, then who the f*** cares about what someone else said? Just ignore it or leave the server entirely if you can't tolerate it. We do apologize in case we come off rude or too direct, but this is just the reality of the situation. We will not limit people from speaking freely, and as long as no one is insulting anybody for no reason. We believe in our fan base, and we believe that you are smart enough to resolve any form of conflict or issues by yourself. Communication is key, everybody. We've all been through tough times. We've all had bad stuff happen to us. Believe me, I'm no exception. So let's all communicate and get along with each other, despite our differences. After all, the overlords are always here to resolve any form of issues you may have. We hope that we've managed to clear the air and set all the expectations straight. We hope to see all of you get along and have a good time in the server. I bet you so many people got offended that they're not even watching at this point. If there's one thing I've learned on the span of all of my long years, my good man, it's that I will never let others affect what I stand for. If you're still watching this video, by the way, and you understand and accept what we've said, we are genuinely very thankful, because there are not a lot of people like you in this world. And for you, and you only, we have some good news, and a huge announcement! We've been getting so many messages lately from you guys asking us if there's any way you can support us financially. In while Vox Tech Enterprises and Family Entertainment is an infinitely successful brand, Truth being told, it has been quite hard to support and keep both the YouTube channel and the TikTok page running all at the same time. And if you've been paying attention and following along with the podcast, you will know that we do not intend to hire any one of you guys for help. Furthermore, we most certainly don't want you lovely people to just blandly send your hard-earned money to us without getting anything in return. The solution we decided to come up with is a membership subscription to ensure that you guys get something in return for your amazing support. We sincerely tried to make the process as easy as possible for everyone by making a subscription on FewTube. However, due to a lot of technical difficulties and restrictions, we were not able to put that idea into motion. We even tried to set up an account on buymeacoffee.com, but even that was not possible due to the technical restrictions. Ultimately and inevitably, we turned to the last option that ended up working out in our favor. Introducing our brand new Paint Me On account. It's called Patreon, but yes, we now have an official Patreon account, and you might want to hear what we have to offer. For just the low, low price of $30, you are now able to bypass all of our premieres and see our latest videos as soon as they're ready. It's $3, dude, not $30. Moving on to the next bundle, you don't only bypass the premieres, but you also get little snippets and sneak peeks of what the video is actually going to look like. Let's say the next video is going to be 15 minutes long, and we've edited the first three minutes of the video. Or let's say we've edited minutes six to nine. We will export the minutes that have already been fully edited and post them so you can see it. And not only are you getting more content, but you're also going to see what the video is going to be about and what it's actually going to look like. All of that for just $50. Or is it five? It's $5. My goodness. We really are giving everyone one heck of a deal, aren't we? Wait until you hear the third bundle, because on top of all of this, for just $10, they don't only get everything that we've just talked about. They also get access to the Phantom District, a hidden text channel on our Discord server. Only the people who purchase the $10 membership will have a custom invite to that district. This would definitely be a good time to mention that a lot of our overlords, including John, enjoy staying in that district. Goodness gracious, can this get any better? It actually can! Because no matter which bundle you choose, we'll be giving you a shout out at the end of almost every video. Because we appreciate each and every single one of you. And we want to thank you for all the support you have, are, and will provide for us. We're just selling out at this point, aren't we? Yes, we are. And we're getting sued by Hasbin Hotel, aren't we? Most probably, yes. I guess this is what it has to go down to. Few tube monetization isn't working out for us all that well, is it? It definitely has been a struggle to financially support the channel and the TikTok page. I mean, we're Hell's one of the most strongest and most powerful overlords. 
but even so, I refuse to accept the support we're going to get without giving anything back to the community. Sometimes I get jealous with how much love and support you give to the community. Let's hope that the process goes well and that everything goes smoothly. Does it ever though? Nope. Exactly.